Greetings, greetings, greetings and salutations one and all. Welcome, 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 welcome to the night shift. It is another Tuesday night right here. It's another healthy love night. I want to welcome you each and everyone who have it locked right now. Those on PEMGTV.com, big ups to you. Those on TuneIn Radio, the night shift with DJ Kevin Stew. Those on One Harmony Radio, top of the morning to you. WGLRO, greetings to you. Anywhere that you are, tuned in from Detroit to Denmark, from Florida to Alaska, and everywhere in between. Welcome, 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 welcome to the show. Glad to have you. Couldn't do it without you. You have my word. I wouldn't even try. Kicking it off tonight, a little Una Morgan. Una Morgan. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Una Morgan. New time. New time. It's called Evolution. Evolution. Come on, come on. Evolution. to Pulsey Media Group right now. Uh, thank you for sponsoring this segment of the show. When being in a moment is priceless, you want to link them. 754-999-6020. They can capture your moment on stills. Seeing your photos. Or they can video your your moment. They can even stream your moment. They can integrate it into your website. They can host your website. It's all about the evolution. The evolution of broadcasting. 
All at your fingertips. Give Pop Free Media a call 754 You can also visit them at paulcmg.com. Time to rearrange, no more time for games. It's all about the evolution. I say big ups to Musical Genius over there in the UK. Top of the morning to you, sir. Go get some rest, big man. It's early and you're not you're not you're not running that 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 double shift tonight. <laughs> Make sure you catch Musical Genius on oneharmonyradio.com. You he has a, a quite a comprehensive show you want to catch him be sure to catch him all right so it's healthy love night and tonight on healthy love we're talking about chimerism what chimerism it's 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 one of those conditions that you would probably hear about in fairy tales and um but they, they actually do exist um you you may have heard of uh or seen on um crime drama where a man gets exonerated from a crime that he actually did commit because he has two different genomes or two different sets of DNA. Now, at the scene of the crime, he leaves traces of alternate genome and lab tests the other genome, which doesn't match the DNA in his blood. Um, he is erroneously declared innocent and he gets off scot-free. Now, again, science fiction type stuff, right? Things that you'd, you'd just make up for entertainment. But, yeah, and you know whenever a but shows up, everything that preceded that is negated. But, <laughs> here it is. This genetic condition is actually real and it silently impacts the lives of many people. Speaking of impacting lives of many people, those of you tuned in to KevinStew.com know I don't know how many of you are actually seeing me on the video or are getting the video. If you are not getting the video, um, let me go ahead and put this message in here. If you are not getting the video you can listen in on tune in radio you can listen you see i'm i'm learning to type ladies and gentlemen <laughs> on the tune in radio app because i'm not seeing me so, if I'm not seeing me, I'm going to assume that some of you are not seeing me. Last night, I didn't see me, but some people said they did. And we still had a very interactive show. Um, so, you can, you, can tune, you can listen on the TuneIn Radio app to The Night Shift with DJ Kevin Stew or One Harmony Radio. You can also go to PEMGTV.com and you can watch and listen there. I know the stream is live there. It's, it's, it's weird. There are some things about technology I still don't get, and, and this is one of them. 
I cannot understand why it is that I can't see me, but you can see me using the same stream. And I can be seen on another platform, but not on my platform. It's, it's, it's really weird, but we're going to run with it nonetheless. So, um... Oh, I, f I wasn't finished typing the message. Uh, you can listen on the TuneIn Radio app or go to www.pmgtv.com. Ta da da! My mother would be proud. Alright, so it's what we're talking about tonight is chimerism, and we're looking at, 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 at how odd this 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 condition may sound but how very real it is in the midst of all of that <laughs> in 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 spite of its oddity it's very real um oh i'm so sorry okay so the term chimera what is it? What is what is chimerism? The term chimera, in and of itself, is derived from a Greek Greek mythological creature that was composed of a goat, a lion, and a snake. Weird combination, but they managed to put it together nonetheless. Now, although this monster never existed beyond our collective imagination. The health condition is very real. Chimerism is a condition whereby a person has not one, but two complete genomes, two sets of DNA in their body. One genome is found in one region or in some organ or in one organ or some organs, while the other genome can be predominant in other organs or tissues. So a DNA test result would be entirely different depending on where the sample was originally from. Whether that be blood, saliva, fingernail clippings, hair, wherever it came from. Now as you can imagine, the condition can lead to confusing results. When a person needs to seek medical care. Or in the case of relationship testing. Mm. There's one young chimeric father that reported being sent to a hospital after a car accident. When the hospital staff discovered he had two different incompatible blood types flowing through his veins, they asked if he had received a bone marrow transplant. Hospitals are usually ill-equipped to identify and treat chimeric individuals. Now, that in and of itself would be quite scary for a medical professional. I know it's scary for, for, for me as a layman. So, if you're not versed in the way of chimerism... <laughs> It sounds like a kung fu move, a kung fu art, or a martial art. Um, but if, if, if you don't know it, if you're not versed in it, you can run into problems. One of the most famous examples, not sure if you've heard it, so it is perhaps one of the most famous examples of human chi chimera is a case that involves a lady by the name of Lydia Fairchild. Now, Lydia applied for child support for her two children after separating from her husband back in 2002. At the same time, she was pregnant with their third child. She was required to prove a biological relationship to the children. So, she submitted DNA samples for routine DNA relationship testing. So, routine procedure. Her husband was confirmed as 
the biological father. But the test indicated she was not the mother. Yeah, there's a plot twist for you. So, here you are. You, mother, gave birth to your child. You had to go through a routine test for official reasons. And you're told, I'm sorry, ma'am, but you are not the mother of your child. Uh, how does that go? How does that go over? How, how, as a mother, do you respond to that? Even further than that, how can that be possible? You know, it's 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 one of those things that is is really really weird. We're gonna have to take a quick look. Um, no, I may not have to take a break. Um, let me see if I can if I can work these two things. Um, simultaneously I have someone coming in to the studio building to do something not directly related to the show so let me see if I can if I can do these two things simultaneously without stopping um, just bear with me one quick second here call a friend tell a friend we're on night shift with DJ Kevin Stew um, I, at the same time I have to double check with my technical team about something so I, I set the stage for you. Call a friend, tell a friend. Come tune in. 773-789 Stew gets you in touch. And we're going to talk. Let me play this song one more time for you. Una Morgan, Evolution. I'll be right back. Sentence, filling my essence in your presence. Ay, whoa, 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 ay. 
Miss the evolution with a pun Living in illusion through all the confusion I forgive thanks for the almighty one Still remain strong in a white man land Miss the evolution with a pun It's a evolution with a pun Miss the evolution with a pun No pollution Time to rearrange and we're back. I just made some rearrangements. Okay, so that's a story and that is a setup. So here's a mother, had a child, and the DNA doesn't match. What happens? So Lydia conceived both of their children naturally, carried them to term, gave birth, and was being told she was not the mother. So it's like Dinosaur Baby. I don't know how many of you watched the, the, the miniseries Dinosaur. There's a baby on there that goes, not the mama. But he would say it to the father but here it is the courts are saying to this woman hey listen <laughs> you are not the mother of your child so without knowledge of her condition Lydia was accused of fraud she nearly lost her two children to child protective services now Lydia was court ordered to have a witness present at, at the birth of her third child to take a DNA sample immediately following the birth. Now again, the third child's DNA was excluded. Um, it, it, it excluded her from being the mother. Now thankfully, a geneticist thought to test her cervix cells And and um, <laughs> this is this is this is where it got interesting. This is where science proves that it, it's here for us. So the geneticist, geneticists thought to test her cervical cells DNA, and that DNA matched her son's genome. So in essence, what had happened is. Lydia had delivered a child from her twin, thereby becoming the child's mother and biological aunt. So let that sink in for a moment. Some of you heard the song, I'm My Own Grandpa. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a song I love. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But here's a real life case. Because... She is now her, her, the child's mother and the child's aunt. So what then is this whole chimerism? In truth and in fact, there are different types of chimerism. And various root causes also. For the type of chimerism mentioned um, earlier, it's also known as tetragametic chimerism. And this is the most common type. It is where, well, not necessarily the most common type, but the most common cause is a twin pregnancy that naturally reduces to a single baby. And this is referred to as the vanishing twin syndrome because one embryo doesn't survive and the, and the embryo's cells are absorbed by its twin and by the mother. The remaining embryo incorporates the disappearing ghost twin cells 
into various tissues and develops to a healthy baby. Isn't that something? That is, is creation and evolution at, at, it, at its best. So, going back to Lydia Fairchild and her story, what most likely happened is Lydia absorbed cells from her fraternal, non-identical twin while still in utero. Now, her twin did not survive to term, and all that remained of the embryo were cells that Lydia retained in her ovaries and some other organs. Lydia's blood had her dominant genome. So when social services took her blood sample for routine maternity DNA testing, it did not match her child's genome. Simple. <laughs> it's not rocket science, but it is science. So it it it, it sounds it sounds mind blowing, but when it's explained like that, it sounds quite reasonable, doesn't it? So Lydia unknowingly passed on her second genome to her baby. And in doing so, Lydia became the child's mother and at the very same time became the child's aunt, biologically speaking. And an even more common form of chimerism is called microchimerism. Now, microchimerism is defined by actually you know what i'm not even going to go into that yet i'm gonna let the the, the <laughs> that first one sink in right so I'm, I'm i'm and i'm gonna visit it again a little bit later on but i'm gonna let that story sink in um and that is that that type of chimerism is called tetragametic chimer um, chimerism and chimera well as you can see those of you watching the show it is spelled c-h-i-m-e-r-i-s-m chimerism or c-h-i-m-e-r-i-a chimera um it's it's quite rare to me but later on we're gonna find out how rare or not so rare it might be chimerism that is we're gonna take a quick little break call a friend tell a friend the night shift with dj kevin stew is on it's healthy love night and tonight we're talking about chimerism are you familiar with it do you know what it is have you have an experience had an experience with it Share with me, share with us. 773 789 Stew. You can jump into the stew pot on kevinstew.com. And yeah, for those of you who don't know what the stew pot is, it's where we interact. Others call it a chat room. We're fancy over here. We call it the stew pot. So come on, interact with us. Share. If, if it's mind blowing, you can say that. That's fine. So call, text. Um, if you're overseas, you can Skype. Kevin dot stew, you just Skype in and we can chit chat. All right, you don't don't worry. Skyping in doesn't mean that you're on video. It just means that you're on audio. We we talk over here. Cool. We'll be right back. <laughs> Pulse Media Group, innovative streaming and recording, has done it again. A new way to get your business in full view of your neighborhood consumer through AdShare TV. It's available in your neighborhood today. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. Become a host today and place a TV monitor in a strategic location so it's easy to see. Get a one-minute video ad or longer that plays anywhere in our network. Can't be a host? No problem. For a few dollars, we'll run your 30-second video ad. 
A host can run announcement specials like buy one get one free or discount ads. Let's turn your flyers into a 30 second video with music or a voiceover or let us create and run your video ad with a spokesperson. Take advantage of our early enrollment discount. Join us today. Your ad will be seen at least 30 times per day in your AdShare TV neighborhood. It's easy. Just call us. 754-999-6020. AdShare TV, part of Pulse Media Group. Are you crazy about the music industry? You aspire to hit it big in music? Or maybe you've sweated out a soulful killer beat and are now stuck finding it's not as easy as it looked. Oh, but it can be easy for you with JTMC. We've been there, we know how it feels. So we solve challenges like production, promotion, marketing, branding and development, and more. With over 30 years of experience, JTMC is a one-stop shop for artists. We handle your graphic design, writing services, PR, as well as event planning, e-blasts, artist management, and bookings, so also your website and social media needs as well. We're experts in using creativity to persuade audiences on behalf of artists, drawing on our diverse experience to create projects that connect with audiences intellectually and emotionally. Artist success is everything to us, and our years of experience and commitment will be behind you for every one of your needs. If you've got music for the world to hear, whether you're a new or established artist, visit us at jtmcenterprise.com. MJ Media Group, in association with PS Youth Outreach Center, presents the MJ Media Group Workshop Series. Each month, we bring you information from local professionals on business, finance, technology, health, personal development, and more. Check out the amazing lineup. The first session takes place on Saturday, August 31st, 2019, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the Lauder Hill Central Park Library, 3810 Northwest, 11th Place, Lauder Hill. These are free events by the community for the community. Refreshments will be provided and prizes will be given away. Bring your business cards for networking opportunities, so make your reservations now. For more information and sponsorship options, contact Melissa Jane on 954-279-3893. Matthew 28, 19 says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. With this in mind and encouragement received during a South Florida media conference, The Church Links was birthed. The Church Links is an interdenominational worship service portal for churches, providing the tools to spread the word through technology in a cost-effective way. The Church Links www.dahchurchlinx.com Your links to worship and praise. It's Chris Center representing for DJ Kevin. You see me, I say, I don't know the boss. You see me, I say, DJ Kevin's two on a night shift radio show. Yo, it at the thing, turn up the thing loud. Whoa. DJ Kevin's true at the heart of a champion. Never underestimate, just choose him. The silver line behind the dark clouds. DJ Kevin's true, believe him, and that's no doubt. Sell out the night shift with a show, Christine. Just a heart to talk. Loud. Kill a beast. Penetrating, you're not going to speak straight, elevating. 
you feel go hard right now No, 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 wait in uh, The question is what you do today, king uh, You can't cheat life, that I know the baiting You have to put in the work, forget the great things All life, all day, till you see the scrapings Ching, ching, ching You can't fail if you try no way Let God be your guide all day Give your all every time I am say Just do you want to tell me nobody I don't mean you walk hard When my mean is your face, man, my son Cause I'm a who know I go hard Now see my who know yard Always pang the hard no son You feel include the master Overstand, say that I the forecast Get balance with God in the center So everything you want, you will get that faster You can't fail if you try no way Let God be your guide all day Give your all every time I say Just do you want to pay me nobody You can't fail if you try. I can imagine going into everything with that mindset. That's a winning mindset right there. You can't feel if you try. I want to say thanks to Althea with her healing heavenly hands. For sponsoring this segment of the show. Althea is a licensed massage therapist that will come to you wherever you are once you're in Broad County, North Miami Dade, or South Palm Beach County. Just give her a call 754 655 9000. That's 754, sorry, 954 655 9000. You can email her at theolator at att.net also. That's Althea. Tell her DJ Kevin Stew sent you. And you know, one of the really interesting things about tonight's show, I was in a discussion with Althea. And she, men- she mentioned coming across this condition. And I said, whoa, that's mind blowing. And she said, you know, that would make for a good healthy love show. You know, that would make, a, make for a good topic on healthy love. And I said, you know what? You are right. So, you see, the very same way I tell you guys, listen, I take suggestions. I do take suggestions. And then I go and I do some research. And if it is something mind-blowing enough, why not? (laughs) Even some of those things that are not as mind-blowing, I still do those. But, hey, I do take suggestions. Another thing I do take also is donations. If you go on kevinstew.com, See a little donate button. Go ahead, click on it, make a donation to the show. It's it's towards running off the show. This is very much a listener supported show. So show your support. I, I do take monetary support. So I truly appreciate love it. Go ahead. Every mickle makes a muckle. For those who are not Jamaican and know what that saying means, every little bit counts. And it it, it goes towards the running of this show. Pays the bills, it it, it covers streaming services. It goes towards running of the show. That's all. All Alright, so back to the matter at hand. Chimerism. So we looked at, at, at... 
tetragrammatic chimerism. Um, the most common cause of it is a twin pregnancy that naturally reduces to a single baby, the vanishing twin. Um, so, an even more common form of chimerism is what is known as microchimerism. And this is, where, is defined by a person um, harboring a small percentage of cells that originate from another individual. Sounds like hoarding, right? <laughs> Frequently, this condition arises during pregnancy when a mother and the fetus exchange cells across the placenta. Microchimerism has been detected in women who have never had a full-term pregnancy, but may have been unknowingly pregnant and miscarried. A transient form of microchimerism can also occur after a blood transfusion or an organ transplant. The baby's stem cells may be acting to help protect the mother from her own autoimmune condition. For reasons not fully understood, many mothers report relief from rheumatoid arthritis during pregnancy. There is reason to believe that microchimerism may be the underlying explanation to it, but they still don't know. So, microchimerism might be an answer, or I should say chimerism, might be an answer to some of the things that ail us today. Well, I guess that is where things involving stem, st stem cell research also come into play. But, you know, one of the things I've always wondered about is organ transplants. Because if I get an organ, say, liver, kidney, heart, that is essential, <laughs> well, those are typically the organs that are transplanted, right? You might have a lung transplant too. But you get an organ transplant wherever that organ came from it's not necessarily someone who is directly related to you but it doesn't even matter if they're directly related to you because genes are genes and your genes are not the same as my genes I I, I might wear Levi's and you wear dungarees no um well Levi makes dungarees, right? Yeah, no? But you, you get my drift. It's a really bad joke. But um, <laughs> genes are genes. And so you give me an, an organ, whether voluntarily or you died and I took it. Either way, you, you provided it. And so now your genes are flowing through my body. How does that work? So, and, and I, well, I guess it is with blood type that you have organ rejection and not necessarily with genes. But I don't know. And apparently, scientists have it down somewhat but they don't quite have the answers either. So, how does an individual go about finding out that they have chimerism? Most, most chimeras are believed to be asymptomatic and completely unaware of their condition. Medical literature has identified some co common symptoms, including having different colored eyes, patches of different skin tones, different colored sections of hair, and sometimes 
disorders of sexual differentiation, formerly called, you guessed it, hermaphroditism. Now, some chimeras have autoimmune diseases because the body recognizes the twin's genome as a foreign substance. This does not suggest that anyone who has different colored eyes or skin or an autoimmune condition has chimerism. But someone with chimerism could have these conditions. I, I do know, well, I have met, I, I spent a few weeks in the same place with her. Um, no, we didn't spend a few weeks together. <laughs> we just were in the same place. A young lady that one eye was one color. No, half of one eye was one color and half the other. And the other eye was one color. And it was the most fascinating thing to me. Incidentally, this young lady could do something that I've been trying to do ever since I saw her do it. She could keep one eye still and move the other. That was one of the most amazing things to me. Needless to say, I was curious of what other tricks she could perform, but we never kept in touch. So, um... <laughs> but that's for another show. But, um... These are some of the things that happen with with chimera now one of the most common questions would be how common is this condition and you might be surprised at the result the answer to that question to understand how frequent chimerism might be we first need to understand some things about twin pregnancies. A surprising number of single babies were originally twin pregnancies, where the twin did not survive to term. An estimated 1 in 8, or around about 12% of babies born, had a twin that disappeared and left no evidence of their existence. None. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Now, unfortunately, we do not have enough scientific evidence to make an accurate prediction for the rate of chimerism in humans. So there are still things that science is working on. Now, currently, there is no public wide screening program in the U.S., nor is there any real need for it, since most chimeras are healthy folks. So... We do know, however, that through the popularity of assisted reproductive technologies such as IVF, twinning is on the rise. And we can anticipate chimerism to become more common also. Microchimerism is believed to be the most common form of chimerism with an estimated 20 to 90%, that's quite a spread, 20 to 90% of women harboring cells from prior pregnancies. The rate of microchimerism in men is less well known, but assumed to be the same as women. So, nobody knows for sure, but science believes that, hey, you know, as much as often as you see it in women, you'll find it in men. And we can take that because we don't know. And here it is again having an, an acceptance because we're learning. Yeah? Having acceptance through enlightenment. The main theme behind. The Night Shift and KevinStew.com. So that's what we're doing. We're learning about this. Is there anything however, that, that, that could possibly increase the likelihood of chimerism? 
you know is is there something in the water is there something in the in the air is is there a particular diet anything that increases the likelihood of a twin pregnancy increases the chances of a person being an undiagnosed chimera so basically unprotected sex <laughs> that increases the likelihood of chimerism in a nutshell if your parents utilized assisted reproductive technologies such as IVF or used fertility medications your chances of having been a twin pregnancy are more likely left-handedness has been observed more frequently in twins leading some experts to believe that a left-handed individual may be more likely to have had a twin in utero i know a few left-handed people and i'll say this the 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 the, the few left-handed people that i know i love them to death I will say they are such unique individuals <laughs> that they would have to be a twin. <laughs> no single person could be like these people. They'd have to be twins. And now I have grounds to say that you must have been a twin. Uh, a couple of those uh, left-handed people, southpaws might be listening right now um good evening to you i love you <laughs> and, and i mean that from the bottom of my heart and not the heart of my bottom so what can you do if you suspect that you have chimerism do you uh, go out and make sure that your will is intact and your children are taken care of or do you just go on living the way you've been living like there's nothing wrong chimeric individuals usually live healthy normal and normal is relative but healthy normal lives until something goes wrong involving dna testing only time that things get thrown off if you have had a pair uh, a parental dna test performed and the results was falsely negative chimerism may be an explanation and you find most of your false negatives with mothers being told that their children are not their children yeah there's the occasional mix up in the hospital that happens you know the the, the child swap the 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 mix up by the nurses and but it doesn't happen that often that is so very rare especially with, with the new system where the child and the mother is tagged from inside the delivery room so it, it's hard to to make a mistake but that that that's pretty much it in a nutshell with looking at the overview of chimerism so again, you know, going back to ancient Greek mythology, it was this first the chimera it was this fearsome beast with a mix of lion and goat and serpent, and it was even fire breathing. So I guess that's probably where the the, the whole idea of dragons came from. But like we said. It's a condition where human beings have two sets of DNA, whether it be in organs or in different parts of the body. Two sets of, of DNA. I think that's really cool. I think that is really, really, really cool. And I, I can't even remember the name of, of, of the person that I saw with the, the two color eyes. If you know anybody like that, I'd love to talk to them. I'd love to. I'd love to have a conversation with them because 
I want to know. I have that inquiring mind. Back then, it wasn't that inquiring. It was just, you know, whatever. Now, I really, really, really want to know. So, we looked at two of the three types of chimera or chimerism that exists. We looked at um, tetragametic and we look at micro chimerism. I want to look at the third when we come back. So come back with your pen and paper, come back with your friend, come back any which way, just come back because we're going to take another little break and we're going to talk some more when we come back through going through this segment. I want to thank once again Althea with her healing heavenly hands. And not only does she have healing heavenly hands, but good conversation to produce the topic for tonight's show. Thank you, Althea. Thank you very much. I truly, she, truly, she, <laughs> truly appreciate love it. <laughs> so true she is the new way to say truly appreciate love. Okay? You true she. <laughs> we're gonna take a quick little break when we come back we talk some more call a friend tell a friend it's a night shift to dj kevin stew we're gonna be right back today in school i learned a lot in chemistry i learned that no one likes me in english i learned that i'm disgusting and in physics i learned that i'm a loser today in school in math, i learned that i'm ugly and useless and in gym in biology, i learned that i'm pathetic in a joke. In history, I learned that I'm trapped. Today in school, I learned that I have no friends. In English, I learned that I make people sick. And at lunch, I learned that I sit on my own because I smell. In chemistry, I learned that no one In biology, I learned that I'm fat and stupid. And in math, I learned that I'm trash. The only thing I didn't learn in school today... The only thing I didn't learn today... The only thing I didn't learn... It's why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. It takes an entire village to raise a child. Hello, I'm Paul Campbell, here to talk about Palace. Peace and Love Academic Scholarship. This nonprofit group supports students facing serious obstacles from entering or continuing their studies, not because the grades are failing, but due to the lack of financial support. Over the past eight years, Palace has awarded 600 scholarships valued at approximately 50.3 million Jamaican dollars or 415,000 U.S. dollars. Together, we must build a better future for our children. Please visit www.palace1.org and make your donation to brighten the future of a deserving child. Palace, preserving young minds for posterity. JTMC Music presents the highly anticipated, much talked about, The Juggling Rhythm, Volume 1. This classic rhythm takes on a new life with tracks from both established artists and introduces some incredible new voices. Get your dancing shoes ready with The Juggling Rhythm, featuring international reggae dancehall artist, Mr. Vegas, alongside Ian Sweetness, Ed Robinson, Jack Radix, Hezron, Dangling, Joanna Marie featuring Galaxy P, Denny Rance, Featuring Jawiz, Ambalik, Christine Alicia, Yishka, also the new sensations of the rhythm, Zeal, Danger Lee, Marquis Skelenar, Zachary, available on all digital media outlets. The juggling rhythm. Get it, get it, get it. When being in the moment is priceless. Consider the ability to share that moment. If you can video it, you can broadcast it. And Pulse eMedia Group has the tools you need. Weddings, birthdays, 
funerals, graduations, church services, parties, seminars, you name it. Pulse eMedia Group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event. Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse eMedia Group, when being in the moment is priceless. Yes, yes, yes. A car Mantino, I'm making no sir. I know you are locked in to DJ Kevin Stew on the night shift. Son of Dion Blaze. I believe in you and I believe in me. I want to thank JTMC for sponsoring this segment of the show. JTMC Enterprises providing your basic needs as it relates to entertainment needs, um, promotion needs, your social management needs, your event management needs. JTMC can meet all those needs just give them a call 678 793 tell them you heard about him right here on the night shift with dj kevin stew so moving on continuing a little bit i want to blow your mind a little bit more um the other way that a person can develop micro can develop chimerism is we mentioned it before through a transplant and one of the more common ways is if they undergo bone marrow transplant now during such transplants which can be used to treat leukemia for example a person will have their own bone marrow destroyed and replaced with bone marrow from another person and bone marrow contains stem cells that develop into red blood cells. 
This means that a person with a bone marrow transplant will have blood cells for the rest of their life. Now, these cells are identical, genetically identical, to those of the donor and are not genetically the same as the cells in their own body. In some cases, all of the blood cells in a person who received a bone marrow transplant will match the DNA of their donor. Sounds weird, doesn't it? But in other cases, the recipient may have a mix of both their own blood cells and donor blood cells. And according to a 2004 review paper in the journal Bone Marrow Transplantation, a blood transfusion will also temporarily give a person's cells from someone else. But in a bone marrow transplant, the new blood cells are permanent. And according to the Tech Museum of Innovation in San Jose, California, that is completely true. <laughs> More commonly, people may exhibit so-called microchimerism. And again, this happens when there is a, a pregnancy and one fetus is completely absorbed by the other. So you have that, you know, that, that twinning going on and one twin doesn't survive but nobody really knows and it is uh, the cells from that twin is absorbed by the, the, the remaining twin. Really new age science kind of a stuff. But let me blow your mind some more as, as we go through this JTMC sponsored segment before we get into our musical therapy. Let me just blow your mind just a little bit more. There is what is known as symbiotic chimerism. And this happens in anglerfish. Chimerism in and of itself occurs naturally in adult serotoid anglerfish. And it is in fact a natural and essential part of their life cycle. Once the male achieves adulthood, it begins to search for a female. Using strong olfactory or smell receptors, the male searches until it locates a female anglerfish. What then happens is really interesting. The male, which is less than an inch in length, don't want no short, short man. <laughs> the, the male, which is less than an inch in length, bites into her skin, into the female skin, and releases an enzyme that digests the skin of both his mouth and her body, fusing the pair down to the blood vessel level. Any talk about the two shall become one? This is it right here. Now, while this attachment has become necessary for the male's survival, it will eventually consume him as both anglerfish fuse into a single hermaphrodi hermaphroditic individual. Now, how cool is that? That makes you want to study anglerfish just in and of itself. You just want to sit down and, and watch the life cycle of an anglerfish or the reproductive cycle of an anglerfish. If you don't want to go through the whole life cycle, just watch the reproductive cycle of an anglerfish. So, the male bites into the female and gets absorbed into the female and the female now becomes... Hermaph hermaphrodite here is where it gets even more interesting and this kind of leans into <laughs> um, 
or one could use it to argue points that we would discussions that we would have on our real talk show you can figure it out when i say it i may or may not mention it at the end but here's what can happen this is where it gets more interesting sometimes in this process where the male is absorbed by the female and they become one single organism sometimes more than one male will attach to the to a single female as a symbiote and again the male is less than an inch in length they will all be consumed into the body of the larger female angler and once fused to a female the males will reach sexual maturity so they don't become sexually mature until they actually fuse with a female but they are adult male fish once fused to a female the males will reach their sexual maturity developing large testicles as their other organs atrophy so the testicles alone live this process allows for the sperm to be in constant supply when the female produces an egg so that the chimeric fish is able to have a greater number of offspring now if that doesn't make for an awesome sci-fi movie i don't know what does but how cool is that and tell me this how did the scientists figure that out what kind of 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 studying did they do to get to the point where they could say hey you know this is the process by which angler fish reproduce do they study all deep sea type fish where did when did they get the time to study anglerfish like this i want to as a matter of fact when i'm done with this show as i'm loading it up i'm going to see if i can find a video on the reproductive cycle of anglerfish because this is fascinating there is a, a, another type of chimerism which is known as germline chimerism and this occurs when the germ cells for example and we're not talking about just germs we're talking about sperm and egg cells of an organ or so these cells of an organism are not genetically identical to their own and it has recently been discovered that marmosets can carry the reproductive cells of their fraternal twin siblings because of placental fusion during development now get this marmosets always well almost always give birth to fraternal twins i did not know that did you know that i didn't know but that 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 is way cool um so that's something that you can look at. I'm, I'm i'm not gonna blow your mind much more with with this tonight but just know that chimerism is something that occurs quite frequently um with mice let me just mention this with mice chimeric mice are important animals in biological research 
because they allow the investigation of a variety of biological questions in an animal that has two distinct genetic pools within it. These include insights into such problems as tissue-specific requirements of a gene, cell lineage, and cell potential. The general methods for creating chimeric mice can be summarized either by injection or aggregation of embry embryotic, embryonic sorry, cells from different origins. Now, the first chimeric mouse was made by Beatrice Mintz in the 1960s through the aggregation of eight cell stage embryos. See, they've been playing with, with scientists have been playing with life for a very long time. Injection on the hand, on, sorry, on the other hand, was pioneered by Richard Gardner and Ralph Brinster, who injected cells into blast cysts to create chimeric mice with germ lines fully derived from injected injected embryotic embryonic sorry cell stem cells chimeras can be derived from most embryos that have not yet implanted in t in the uterus as well as from implanted uterus sorry embryos I, I, I don't know what's happening tonight so the embryonic stem cells the es cells from the inner cell mass of an implanted blast cyst can contribute to all cell lineages of a mouse, including the germline. Embryonic stem cells are a useful tool in chimeras because genes can be mutated in them through the use of homologous um, recombination thus allowing gene targeting. Now, since th this discovery occurred in 1988, embryonic stem cells have become a key tool in the generation of specific chimeric mice. And we know that one of the things that are, is used in science, medical science especially, is mice. So... They have been creating chimeric mice for somebody to do the math from the 1960s to now. Over 50 years. Just like that. <laughs> uh, how do we know that we are not scientifically, secretly scientifically, being engineered to bum bum bum? Things that make you go, hmm. You know, last week we were talking about the, the genetic modification of salmon and that, that being looked at to be introduced into our, our marketplaces, our restaurants, our supermarkets, our delis. And, you know, that could be quite concerning on one hand. On the other hand, it could mean that science is, is finding cures to certain things. But the question comes up then, is this happening for the betterment of society? Or is it happening for the betterment of one's bank account? intent the difference between manipulation and persuasion you know what is the intention of of the scientists the leading scientists the, the, the majority of the scientists that are looking into things like this chimera what what are some of the benefits well we know that from 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 bone marrow transfusion from bone marrow transplants that hey we can save lives we can prolong lives we can change lives from 
organ transplants. Same thing. So, who benefits? What else can we do in this area of science? What else is being done in this area of science? Can the whole idea of the anglerfish be used in the treatment of human conditions? Can it be used to create human conditions? Questions I'm sure that some of these scientists are asking. But should we be asking some of these questions also and looking for these answers? I say yes. And I think we should. So, check it out. Chimera. C-H-I-M-E-R-A or Chimerism. C-H-I-M-E-R-I-S-M. Check it out. Look into it. If, if, if I'm not giving you good information, it gives you reason to go ahead and find your own. And then you can hit me up and say, you know, Stu, that information that you gave that night on Healthy Love about this condition, eh, you left out some things or this part of it wasn't so true. You might want to look at this. Hit me up. I want to know. I want to hear from you. My findings can't be the only findings. And remember, you can hit me up on 773-789-STEW. 773-789-7839. I'll take your call. Believe me, I'll, I'll, I'll take your calls. <laughs> I'll respond to your messages. I, I won't bite. Well, I won't promise either. <laughs> but um, you have my word. So, we're going to bounce on out of here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. Um, those of you who have to go, for the rest of you, it's musical therapy time. And we're going to kick off this remaining portion of the JTMC sponsored segment with new music from Wayne Studdard. Wayne Studdart. The track is called Raise It. America, this be all we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest the right. Everything that's wrong, they have made right. Everything that's right, they have made wrong. Who are these lawmaker guys trying to distort the laws of the Most High? Coming with their lies and illusions, they've gone against nature and breeding confusion. We are the children of the light. Walking through the valley, we will never fear the night. And I say, Raise it, raise your blood stain by the eyes. Eyes away we to the sky Shout the name of Adonai Yahusha Hamashiach and the Mafis the Pazai Application hypnotize. We are the chosen generation with the righteous meditation. Tear down your temptation. And we are the children of the light. Walking through the valley, we will never fear the light. And I say, raise, raise your blood, stain by the eyes. Eyes away, we to the sky. Shout the name of Adonai. Yahusha Hamashiach, the name of his people. Yeah, I'm a shit, 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 I'm a
trying to school Coming with them bag of lies and them bag of fries And them hypocrite disguise Not to the side, it's to the side Open up your eyes, read between the lines Whoa, avoid annihilation Go read revelation and wave it Wave your blood stain by the hand Raise it, I raise it to the sky This is Aizan Everything was working out with Jadan. We used to roll as a team, you used to tell me. Jack is called Wolf in Sheep Clothing. So, oh no, you know I'm if you be the winner. It hurt me when you work so hard for them. And then I tell you, it's no hurt me. They might not clean it dirty. Bitter than thirsty, but them can't no, hurt me. No, I'm a wolf in sheep clothing. No, no for them, I'm a wall like them ring when I pretend them. No for them a pray and a wish just to see your life and them a wolf in sheep clothing. No for them a go all of them rave and a pretend them a pretend. Them a wolf in sheep clothing. I miss a wolf in sheep clothing. Yeah. I said them a play fool fi catch wise a roll under disguise. Lucky thing, me no idiot, no me think twice. Chief am a fi rise and open up eyes. Hey Jordan, them no like we see when we a strive, we a strive. Just wanna say we future right, and them never a go live we see them youth a high. But King Selassie a him take we on a higher height. Them a crucify I like Christ. I see no for them a wolf in sheep clothing. No for them a go all like them rave and a pretend them a pretend. Them a wolf in sheep clothing. No for them a pray and a wish just to see your life in. Them a wolf in sheep clothing. No for them a go all like them rave and a pretend them a pretend. Them a wolf in sheep clothing. I miss a wolf in sheep clothing. Yeah. I said me no know them a pray. Me no know them a having a the heart. Jada no who them a smile me like them peace and we a laugh. Them see we find the right and them no want to see we prosper. I never see when we dey on the side and mix smaller. And me with the bucket up and me head up carry water. Everything we a feel it we wear very hard. Shout out them now go live to see we maga. No for them a wolf in sheep clothing. No for them a go all of them rave and a pretend them a pretend. Them a wolf in sheep clothing. No for them a pray and a wish just to see you. Um, I don't know if that qualifies as chimerism. Makes you think though, doesn't it? If you can intentionally leave traces of DNA and know that if you get checked, you'll be found to be not the one that left your DNA at a particular location. Can you imagine types of crime you could get away with? <laughs> My goodness. I want to say thanks to GMAP Music Solutions for sponsoring this segment of the show. GMAP Music Solutions can provide uh, lighting and stage production services, musical engineers, musical equipment, DJs, bands, musicians, singers, uh, they bring your event to life. Give them a call, 754-307-GMAC, 754-307-4622. Or you can visit them at gmacmusicsolutions.com. 
Tell them, of course, you heard about them right here on the Night Shift to DJ Kevin Stew. GMAP Music Solutions helps me out with events when I go out and DJ. You don't hear me doing it very often, but I do. In fact, I was DJing the brunch downtown um, this past Saturday. The brunch at Coal Fire Grill. Coal Fire, the location of the soon-to-be-opened Coal Fire Restaurant and Catering Service. Um, they do pop-up brunches until the restaurant is built out and opens. So, listen out for the next one. Uh, chances are I'll be there playing some music again. We had so much fun last time, and we had so much fun the time before that. So, look out for the next one. Uh, I want to also make mention, before I go much further into my musical therapy coming up on saturday you heard me play the ad for it earlier the mj media group workshop series which features presentations from melissa jane on productivity produ productivity tech tools um paula scott from on community resources the power of appearance by julian lee of Jillian J Inc. Jillian J LLC, sorry. Personal finances and taxes from Wendell Moore. Home buying tips from Dr. Marcia Demas and the winning ticket being presented by Steve Barrow. You you don't want to miss this event. It is a free event. Go on and make sure you book your spot. I don't know how many spots are left. But you want to make sure to jump on that. And speaking of Jillian J, this month's featured piece, Get It While It's Hot, Get It While You Still Can. Black, green, and gold. Um, necklace, bracelet, and earring set. Pieces can be worn individually or mixed and matched. Go ahead, link Julian. 954-281-2587 or email jmarie at jillianj.com that's jmarie at g-i-l-l-i-a-n dash j dot com and uh, that gets you in touch with her and that hooks you up Jill Julian also does personal styling so when she is presenting on the power of appearance you know she's coming from a place of being in the know so those who want to know will go so you be there i plan to be there we can all meet up at the mj media group workshop coming up this weekend in lauder hill all right cool haven't played this track in a while this is our Janai. It's called Red Line. Redress for our grievances. Why the hell should we stay here and continue to live like this and then join an army and go somewhere and fight for the same damn enemy that's doing what he's doing to us? Let my people go. Repatriation is not the answer. This evil is spreading everywhere. This new world order is like a cancer that's killing your children and they just don't care. They gave us no choice but this revolution So long we've been out here keeping the peace They crucify us in different ways Especially by the hands of their police Them done cross the red line, yo Them done reach the deadline, yo Them done reach us long time, yo But then so many still chanting peace We'll get rid of this scared mind They can achieve what they're looking for What they want is an uproar In these streets So that they can impose their martial law What we need is justice For all of the crimes Committed against your children in these here times Equal rights and justice For all of the years Of our bloodshed and our tears Them then cross the red line Yo, them then reach the deadline No, them then reach us long time Yo then so many still chanting peace We'll get rid of this scared mind, yo That just can't see clear mind, no Too busy living in fear mind, yo There's so many dying out there in these streets Listen, what's killing you is the truth that's coming out of my mouth 
try and kill me to satisfy you. That's how you do black men that you can't buy and you can't bend. But don't come this way with that thought about killing. Think well, because I'm not here by myself, of myself. There's a God back in me. That's why I can talk like I talk without fear. Concentration camps, some probing in the streets. Martial law enforced by soldier and police. Nazi Germany by slave for the speech. I saw we no say the end of mankind and reach. Do world order cross border straight far and wide. Their agenda push evil war and genocide. And no matter where you run, you cannot hide. Just no say that your children will not be denied. Cross the red line. story that's never been told. I'm no longer a child. I'm grown old. This is Empress Unique. Looking out of the window. Check it's called my story. Had so many lost souls. Wondering what's their story. And if it's ever been told Listening to people that don't really know Cause my story's never been told Day at a time. I did say one day at a time, right? Not at a time. Every day is fine. Times were rough, but it's no excuse. Still got a chance to make it. Yes. I push out on stuck in the life. Want to be great, no plan for you. Shift me sing, you can't be a take. And come a roll in the price Even though the road is so rocky 
still gonna try Cause mama never raised me to be no loser Styles of the rich and famous, my future For all the Hezites. This is Hezron. I love and I love what you got. Give me the light that make me blaze up this fur. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes tonight. Yes, we celebrate. Survivor's pride We all know that this journey Hasn't been so kind But with great courage We challenge a mind Persevere to the slips and This track is called Unbreakable Best believe. Yes, we Wasting my 
This is Kayla and Arnold. <laughs> called at all. I must let you guys know there will be no real talk tomorrow. But if that changes, I'll let you know. But at present, there will be no real talk tomorrow. So, Marlon, I, I, I do apologize. Marlon's favorite night shift show will not be on tomorrow night. Um, and, and, and. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever I can to make sure that you know early if plans change. But as it stands right now, there will be no night shifts tomorrow, no real talk tomorrow night. But you can always check out one of the shows from the archive. Um, it, it's, it's just as entertaining, it's just as informative. But uh, as it stands right now, there will be no night shift tomorrow night. So I want to thank you all for tuning in right now. Thank you for giving your support. Thank you for sticking and hanging around with me through this week, this abbreviated, at present, abbreviated night shift week. Uh, I do encourage you to look out for your neighbors. Your neighbors are not just people that live in your development, but those that spread far and wide. So as you walk, ride, or drive, those that you pass on the bus, on the plane, on the boat, or the train, these people are all your neighbors. So you need to look out for one of them today because you never know which one of them is going to look out for you tomorrow. I'm DJ Kevin Stewart. This is how I like to do it to you, for you, and with you. And as always, I'll say to you, if you can't be good, be good at it. Okay? Giving you a little Graham Smorgan before I roll out of here. It's called Come Back to Bed.
I just want to let you guys know I just watched a, sh- watched a short video on the mating of the anglerfish proof that size does not matter go look it up tell me what you think
for the last minute I'll give you a taste of Joanna Marie Nothing's changed, it's, still the same. it's called Fight No More again and if it doesn't happen tomorrow night I'll be back on Monday God sparing all being well until then y'all take care good morning good afternoon good day to you wherever you are in the world I'm out of here is priceless consider the ability to share that moment if you can video it you can broadcast it and pulse e-media group has the tools you need weddings birthdays funerals graduations church services parties seminars you name it pulse e-media group can provide you with a secure medium controlled by you to broadcast your event Contact us at www.pulseemediagroup.com for more information. Pulse Media Group, when being in the moment is priceless. <laughs>